you get started, I want to thank everyone for um, coming out tonight to hear this music. Um, just a Bishop Reed is going to uh, lead us in an opening prayer, uh, but just a note about where the music came from. It started off as a sermon here and there. Um, when I, I'm a musician and a priest down in Port Aransas, priest and musician is probably the better order. Um, but I, every once in a while, it uh, just seems like a, serm a sung sermon works better than a preached one. So um, then <clears throat> in Easter, um, after Hurricane Harvey, um, I wanted to write a song uh, for every Sunday of the season of Easter because Billy told me about this Eastern Orthodox tradition of using comedy in, during the season of Easter. I'm not great at stand-up, so I went with music instead. Um, and then finally, last year for Lent, my Lenten discipline was to go to a bar once a week and play music. Um, and that kind of got the creativity flowing. Um, and then an invitation to play um, at Good Shepherd in Corpus Christi um, on the line, um, Woman, Here Is Your Son, um, kind of pushed me to, to write a collection of songs for the Passion. So tonight we're not doing the Easter section because it's Lent, but we're doing, um, the first section is about incarnation. Um, so we'll start with John the Baptist and then um, a song about Sophia or Holy Wisdom. And then the third one there is a kind of a, a nativity um, song. And then three songs of Jesus's teachings. And then we'll move um, into the passion. You sh I hope you'll be able to follow um, where we are, but it's a it's a liturgical offering. It's somewhere between a concert and a um, and a musical meditation. Um, I would invite you to let go of the kind of compulsion to clap. Um, you don't have to applaud. You can just sit and enjoy the silence between the songs. Um, it, that doesn't mean you're not allowed to clap, but um, you don't have to. It's just an offering. Um, and you can just be and enjoy the, the musical journey. Thank you, Bishop Reed, for, for saying an opening prayer. Thank you to Johnson for having us out. Um, and here we go. I'm, I'm overdressed or underdressed this evening. It's wonderful to be here, and thank you all for coming out to this beautiful place, and uh, let us pray. O oh Lord, our God, let our prayer to you this night be as incense. Let the lifting up of our hands be the evening sacrifice. We pray that as daylight fades, so your light will shine ever more brightly around us and within us. We thank you for James and for Billy and for their, their offering, their offering of love and joy this night. We pray that, that we may be still, that we may be at rest and at peace, that we may know ourselves to be in your presence. We pray that, that we may listen with open hearts, that we may see through the eyes of our hearts enlightened that we may uh, be filled with new life and joy as we are gathered together in, in the beauty of your creation, surrounded by the beauty of song that is offered to you. Make this night a, a blessing and a sign of your love and your life in our midst. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. This is Billy Tweedy. Um, we borrowed him from the Diocese of Texas for the night. He's the rector of Resurrection Church in Austin and uh, a musical companion of many years, more than I care to mention. <laughs> Oh, 
the end of the story. The hero dies in pain, laid in a rich man's tomb by his best friends betrayed. But this is just the beginning. The swaddled little babe. I came to see him My star found a way John said to the crowds that gathered, I warned you to flee from the wrath to come. Bear fruit worthy of repentance. Don't tell me that you're so and so, son. children from stones be here soon flesh and bones time is near better prepare Sing out loud, oh daughters. Rejoice with your heart in the city streets. I will deal with your oppressor. I'll save the outcast. Set your mind free of worry. Be gentle now, let us see. God's peace is beyond our knowing. The axe is there. Soon, flesh 
child always makes me smile but it caused mother mary to ponder when the angels sang their song only shepherds sang along and i fear we still don't believe them so is there room in my head jesus no longer needs a bed but a mind that moves like water is there room in my head could god be wine and bread do i trust enough to follow there's a trap door in the manger and i don't know where it leads maybe down to the dust or further Jesus said, go take a look, it's right there in the book, going down leads up to heaven, so is there room in my head, Jesus no longer needs a bed, but a mind that moves like water, is there room in my head, could God be wine and bread? Do I trust enough to follow? If we believe in Him, if we don't believe in Him, the paradox of St. John's Gospel. While I sometimes want to know, it's mostly just to show the way is about. still my favorite song through those treasures from my past God is calling me to rest is there room in your head I no longer need a bed let your mind just move Is there room in your head? I am your wine and bread. To trust is to follow. Practice trust and you will follow.